What's up guys? Welcome back to my universe. Today I'm going to review The Hollow Season 2. This show is getting a lot of popularity since it's released two years ago. Many people including myself have found this show to be very underrated. Now if you haven't finished or started Season 2, I recommend you stop right here because there are lots of spoilers. Season 1 told the story of three teenagers, Adam, Mira, and Kai, who are forced to rely on one another despite being strangers when they wake up in a mysterious and dangerous fantasy world. It's basically the Maze Runner meets Lost for kids. I'm happy to say the Hollow's action-packed plot and focus on character relationships continue in Season 2. The Hollow ended Season 1 with quite the reveal, but the mystery of what happened between the end of Season 1 and the beginning of Season 2 is explored throughout all 10 episodes of the new season, so it's worth knowing where the kids are quite literally coming from before diving in. Season 1 of The Hollow revealed at the very end that the three kids were actually playing a highly advanced virtual reality game called The Hollow, hoping that their team would win on the path to fame and fortune. The twist is that Adam, Mir, and Kai are actually flesh and blood humans in reality, like you and me. Well, I'm assuming you're also flesh and blood and not some type of advanced alien or robot, but you're probably making the same assumption about me. Anyways, that idea could have been a fine finale of what could have been a one and done season for the show, but clearly the creators wanted to continue that story. The problem is that they sort of wrote themselves into a corner. The question is how will they continue? Well that's exactly what Adam himself wonders when he wakes up at the beginning of season 2. He doesn't know and neither do we whether he's back in the hollow or really back in his real life familiar world. All of his memories of his family and friends seem to be intact and the same can be said for Mira and Kai once they finally reunite. But there's a knowledge gap between season 1 and season 2 and that's where all the mystery comes from this season. Where the real world characters are woken up, so how could they continue their animated adventures? There are hints to what's going on early, some of them more obvious than others, eventually the trio comes around to the idea that they're definitely not home anymore and that somehow a level 2 of the Hollow has kept them in the game. Season 2 gets to flesh out the relationships a bit more. We get an early confirmation that Adam is in fact gay, both the pride flag in his room and his outright admission to a confused Kai later on solidified this fact. Mira figured this out when he turned down her advances in season 1. The Hollow opts to focus on difficult and dramatic friendships, giving the gang every opportunity to make mistakes and try to get out of the situations that leave them wrong footed. New and returning characters would join the fray, further complicating things. And as the past and present merge together, not to mention the real and digital worlds, it's no wonder the teens are having a hard time keeping their heads on straight. Certain villains and supporting characters from season 1 will get to see a return for some of them, all in a different manner than you might have expected. I love the changes that come with characters like the Four Horsemen, the Weird Guy, Akuma, Benjamin, and Benjamini, but they're more for flavor rather than moving the story along. Other villains come and go in delightfully absurd and exaggerated fashion. The surprise antagonists this time around, however, are other players who may not even realize just how important the game is. That's an interesting twist. Ultimately, Season 2 of The Hollow builds on what the first season established. The stakes are higher than ever, the characters are more diverse and plentiful, and the worlds they try to survive are stranger than ever. But the core of The Hollow is the relationship between the kids that grow, struggle, and sometimes fracture completely. So whether they're flesh and blood or composed of one and zeros, it's the very human victories and failings that make this show worth watching. The Hollow in just two seasons has managed to become a hit among viewers. Therefore, it's highly unlikely that Netflix will pull the plug on it anytime soon. I am positive about it getting the third edition. As per our best estimates, I expect The Hollow Season 3 to release sometime in 2021. In the next season, I'm hoping they bring back the other team. Maybe it'll be this new team that needs the help of the trio to get back to their hometown. Well guys, that's all for today. What do you guys think? Are you guys enjoying The Hollow? And what are you guys expecting from The Hollow Season 3? Comment your thoughts below. And if you're new here and enjoying our content, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And click that bell notification to stay tuned into our universe. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.